Well, in spite of our recent showers, we're still considered to be in a severe to moderate drought throughout the Bay Area. And that means we still face the threat of another dramatic wildfire season fueled by climate change. So the question is, how do we fight back? The answer may lie in a 76-acre canyon in San Bruno. Investigative reporter Jackson Vanderbrecken takes us there. These state crews have been living in this canyon, spending their days cutting overgrown brush and trees away from homes along the rim to protect them against the threat of an explosive fire. There's been no significant fires in this canyon in modern times, in the last 30, 40 years. The job is huge and expensive. Probably about a year process in total. San Bruno Fire Chief Ari DeLay says hiring state crews was only possible because of the $3 million PG&E put up as part of its criminal probation for the 2010 San Bruno gas explosion, which sparked a fire that destroyed 38 homes nearby and came dangerously close to the overgrown Crestmore Canyon. It's been a godsend. It really made, makes a significant impact for the residents here. Cesar Ramirez, the head of a crew with the State Civilian Conservation Corps, says the work isn't easy. It works right, right in conjunction with our motto, which is hard work, low pay, and miserable conditions. Everything that gets cut, um, we have to drag out of here. It needs to get chipped. So in some of these places, being that we're working on a canyon, sometimes we have to find ways to get the brush out of here. Crews are carving out a 100-foot buffer zone between the homes and the urban forest. That gives firefighters an area to defend the structures. The effort's expected to take two dozen core workers a total of 48 days and cost $600,000. Despite all that work, a threat remains from the dangerously overgrown interior of the canyon. Chief DeLay says the state restricts what can be done there, and any solution could take decades. A slew of you know, environmental uh, reviews that have to take place to determine uh, what the net effect of the project would have on the, the canyon itself. One 40-year U.S. Forest Service veteran is convinced the state can't cut its way out of fire danger. Steve Eubanks was in charge of an entire federal forest in the Sierra. He's organizing a summit to get leaders to embrace an ambitious plan to thin or burn half a million acres of federal forest a year, just in Northern California. Right now, the state and feds are looking to thin the same number of federally owned acres statewide starting in 2025. We're not going to stop fires completely. What we're going to do is stop large scale, high intensity fires. Besides staving off mega fires, Eubank says his plan would pump billions into the local economy to reopen shuttered lumber mills and restart biomass plants to turn all the wood chips into energy. All I can tell you is that if we have many more fire seasons like we had this year, the it's going to be a moot point. We're losing uh, far more forest than we can afford to lose. Jackson Vanderbecken, NBC, Bay Area News.